was going to ask you, you know, um, because in my opinion, you know, uh, Joe Weider, right, the Weider Corporation, they they controlled the industry, you know, because him and his brother, they had the organization, right, the federation. Mm -hmm. Then they had the Olympia, which is obviously the most important competition at the time, right? And then they had the media, and then they had the supplement company, and they had the athletes. And the athletes. How were you guys able to compete with that? You know what I mean? Because back then, basically, you, you had to do exclusive contracts with everybody, right, to put them on a cover, the articles. Like, how were you competing with that type of a uh, huge enterprise? It, it, it was a lot of creative work and, you know, guerrilla warfare tactics. You know, we had a, um, you know, the, the, the idea was to get, if we would hone in on a competitor, you know, we thought he would gonna be, was going to be really good in a competition. We try to get to him first, offer him, a, you know, a contract, offer him to pay him for his photo shoot or whatever. And a lot of times, you know, the guy does even better than we thought. Maybe he wins the show. And then, you know, we have a photo shoot all set up with him. And, he, you know, Weeder contacts him and says, you know, I'm going to put you on the cover of Flex. There goes the MD shoot. You know, they're going to they're going to pick Flex over MD or any Weeder publication, you know, hand, hands down. Um, and it was a lot of, you know, f just trying to figure out who, who was going to be at the top. And in fact, Weeder, Weeder played really dirty. You know, Twin Muscular Development was owned by Twin Lab. And Twin Lab would support Weeder shows like the Olympia or the Arnold Classic. And in exchange for the, for the, for the you know, for the sponsorship, you get the name of your company on the, on the curtain, you know, on the stage. And Weeder, Weeder would airbrush it out. You know, they would take out Muscular Development or they would take out Twin Laboratories, you know, even though they had paid for sponsorship. They, they, they played very dirty, you know, at, at the time. And it was it was a constant battle. It was it was a constant battle to to get talent that wasn't going to get soaked up by the Weeder mystique, and uh, it, it, and you know and consequently MD had to make do on you know on 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 the leftovers basically. That's crazy because do you remember was there any um, situation where a, a non Weeder athlete won the Olympia? Um, because it was usually right the Weeder athlete would win. I don't Always. know. I, I don't know if that was you know set up or whatever. But um, do, do you remember if, if one of your guys won the Olympia? Well, Lee Haney was uh, won, won a few Olympias when he was under contract with Muscular Development. Because he was with Weeder first, and then he left Weeder, right? I th I think he was with. I think he was with was. I don't remember. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. I think he was with Weeder first, and then he left Weeder, and and he and he still won. I think two or three Olympias. Even the last one, which was the most, you know, controversial with a with a non weeder contract. That's crazy. That's 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 probably the only one, right? I don't think there's been too many more. No, I, I know Jay Cutler had other contracts, but I think they were in addition to his weeder contract. So I, I I really I I really don't know specifically contractually who actually had an ironclad exclusive weeder contract with, and when the but for the the put it to, to play it safe you could say the deck was pretty stacked most now weeders now weeders uh come back to that as well what do you expect weeder only signs the best athletes in the world who do you think's gonna be you know <laughs> but you guys had a definitely good eye for talent because you guys signed kai green first when he was discovered uh, i think by one of the shows you guys gave him the contract you also had uh, Dennis Wolf, right? I think you guys had Jay Cutler at some point. You guys had Branch a good Warren. We've Branch got, Warren. We've discovered Branch Warren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah there was a few, you know, the, the, um, I mean, lot, lots of them that we thought, you know, were going to be uh, up and comers. Evan Sentapani was another one that we thought was going to be a great guy. Jay Cutler was definitely under contract with us for a while. We had Victor Martinez for a lot of years. Um, um, Dexter Jackson, of course, was was with us for a long time. We we you know Dexter Jackson, I think, first appeared in MD as a bantamweight. You know, it was he was when he first turned uh, you know won a national show. So yeah, we had I mean we had our fair share of them. You know, we were a force to be reckoned with, but we were we were not Joe Weider. So um, politics and bodybuilding does it do they exist? Politics and bodybuilding. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, what, what do you well wait? Do you mean do you mean national politics or do you mean the politics? No, politics people? as people assume, uh, as people say, politics and bodybuilding, meaning decisions ah, okay. of judges' decisions on certain contests or whatever you want to call it. Well, you know, th that's one of those questions that's basically unanswerable because the subjective nature of the sport breeds 
the, the, the contempt for the outcome. So if you disagree with Joe Smith winning whatever show, it's really easy to say, well, the judging was fixed as the, you know, the, the judge owns his gym or, you know, the, the judge's cousins with his wife or, you know, any, any, any combination of those things that could be deemed, you know, unfair or, 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 you know, scandalous. But it's because of the subjective nature of the sport. We're not sh we're not scoring baskets or home runs or or, or you know points on you know on, on, a, on a board. We're we're being we're being subjectively compared to each other. So that right there, if there was no politics, we it would have created it anyway. So that very the very nature of the subjectivity of the sport creates its own problems with respect to um, you know politics but have you ever seen a contest like olympia or arnold classic and you blatantly were in disagree disagree with a decision of the champ of who was a champion did that have happened to you where you saw it and you will completely disagree with the judge's decisions 1991 miss olympia when when bev francis was in first place and then you know and, and linda murray ended up not only was she in first place she was first place up on a board her numbers were up on the scoreboard in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the i guess it was madison or are the it was either it's the madison square garden or the or the um uh, uh, uh the, the beacon theater i don't remember which one it was. but but yeah it was yeah it was pretty obvious you know the that that was that was a fix and later on it, we you know the, the story broke that you know joe weeder came in after prejudging and before the night show and he looked at and he goes who's in first place and they said bev and he goes oh no she can't win and you know he 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 basically coerced the story is that he basically coerced the changing of the of the scores so um that's crazy <laughs> yeah that was actually in a movie right that was pumping iron two women right that was that's what they covered yeah. that competition yeah i yeah. remember that yeah and then, and there were lots of them. I mean, there were there was Nasser El. Somebody should have beaten, you know, Dorian. I forgot what year that was. Kevin Lavroni should have been a Mr. Olympia. Flex Wheeler should have been Mr. Olympia. Chris Cormier should have been a Mr. Olympia. Rich Gaspari should have been a Mr. Olympia. Uh, uh, Victor Martinez should have been a Mr. Olympia. So yeah, there, there there were many decisions over the years that I, I thought were were unfairly given to the incumbent.